in this stage we're going to be constructing the helmet uh, air filter. So take the insert out of the foam and then place the outer foam over the hole like so. Take your little cap, place that over the end and then with the small or the larger screw provided, screw that into position like so. Once you've done that, place the rubber hose, noticing this end goes to the outside, then take one half of your helmet you notice it's got the groove cut out, if you can just see that there. Place that hose into position, making sure it's facing downwards. And then take the other half, placing that over. And then with the other screw provided, tighten that up. And there's your air filter. Now, with your stickers, just cut the stickers out, follow the instructions in the magazine and place those in position Now in this stage we're going to be fitting the on off power switch, so take the on off cover with the two screws off of the power switch and noticing with the on position it needs to be facing towards the rear of the car. Now the reason for that is because if you have it around the wrong way and by any chance you hit something and it knocks it into the off position then your car is going to stop. So make sure that it's in the on position, it's facing towards the rear of the car and then just feed your cable through like so place your on off switch into the gap underneath and then take your on off cover making sure that the on is facing towards the rear turn it over and then fit the on off back into the switch. Small screwdriver tighten that one up Same again with the second one. And then let's 
difficult to see what I'm doing, but I am doing the two screws up. Don't over tighten them, just nip them up. Move the cables out of the way. I'll just show you there. And there you have your on off switch with on being towards the rear of the vehicle. In this stage we're simply going to be fitting the battery box. So take your red connector and connect that into position and then just make sure that everything is tidy and in position and then next follow the instructions on fitting the Pirelli stickers onto the insides of your tyres.